What's going on my ASVAB party people? Anderson here, your ASVAB coach. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to distribute when it comes to binomials and polynomials. So it's a great video. I'm gonna show you exactly how to get it done without having to memorize things like FOIL or other things like that. I got you. All it's about is the distributive property. So before we get started, remember, if it's Monday for you, we have a free class tonight. And if it's not Monday, either way, register for the free class. I host a free class once a week for anybody and everybody who wants to prepare for the ASVAB the right way. So go ahead and take advantage of it. That link right there, asvab.info slash class, go ahead, use that link. Go ahead and go there, register for the free practice test that has free video solutions to help you learn from every mistake and get a list of topics that you need to work on. And as, all, you know, as well, you get the free registration for the free class. So what's holding you up? Go ahead, let's have some fun. I'm gonna show you that getting your score in the ASVAB is not that ridiculous of a process. It can actually be quite enjoyable and you can learn things that you can take beyond just the test. Because the worst thing about the ASVAB is that it's a checkpoint. It shouldn't cost you hundreds of dollars to get the military job you want. It shouldn't cost you hundreds of dollars to serve your country at all. So go ahead, go to that link, set yourself up for free. You know that you wanna get this done, so let's go ahead and get there. But without further ado, let me go ahead and show you how to knock this problem right out of the park. So. With that said, we have ourselves this multiplied by that. How do we do this? Well, long story short, my party people, this is what multiplying binomials or polynomials is all about. It's about the distributive property, okay? Right here, it's about the distributive property. Distributive property. Now, what does that mean? All that means is this. The distributive property just means multiply everything from one side of the parentheses to the other side of the parentheses. That's it. That is it. Just multiply every term with the other term on the other side. So what that means is the 3x and the 4x, those will multiply. And I'm not done yet because the 3x still needs to multiply with that minus 6y. Okay, so the 3x multiply with everything on the other side. Then what's gonna happen after that is the 5y multiplies with the 4x, and then the 5y multiplies with the negative 6y. So again, just that's it. Everything from one side of the parentheses multiplies with everything from the other. That is it, that's the main idea. So if you've memorized FOIL, first, outside, inside, last, that only works for two by twos. If I gave you a three by two, you had no idea what to do if all you know is FOIL. So here's what I mean. If you would have had something like this, like something like that, you got three terms in there, and then you got something like that, well then, FOIL doesn't work for this because you have three terms here. But the general rule will always work. Multiply everything from one side of the parentheses with everything from the other. And then the last piece would be right there. That's all you gotta do. Just draw little arrows and, and little connections between the terms on this side with the terms on that side. And you multiply, then simplify, and that's it. So allow me to go ahead and take care of business for you. Let's go ahead and have some fun, my part people. And also, let me go ahead and change the color of this one so that way you can clearly see what I'm doing through and through. Well, let me not use blue because I already am using blue. Let's change that to green. Yeah, that'll work. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and take care of business. So first things first, we see that we have the 3x being multiplied with the 4x. All right, sounds good. 3x times 4x, what's that gonna be? Well, let me go ahead and just write everything out for you so you can see it all just lined up for you so you can see how it all works out. So there's 3x times 4x. And then we're going to have over here 3x times the negative 6y. So I'll go ahead and write that down in green. So we have 3x times negative 6y. Then over here, we have the next connection, 5y with that 4x. So we're going to do that in blue. And make sure to bring the signs with you. So it's a positive 5y and a positive 4x. And then lastly, we're gonna have in red, we have the 5y and the negative 6y. All right, sounds good. Looks like I'm gonna have to just move this over a little bit. And so we'll have again, 5y times minus 6y. Bring that sign with you, all right? So now that we have it all lined up, that's it, we're good to go. Just multiply, then simplify or combine any like terms and you're good. But you have to make sure that you line it up the right way. If you don't connect it the right way, then your answer is gonna be wrong no matter what. So let's go ahead and get to it. In purple here, the first part, three times four, that's gonna be 12. And then x times x, what's that gonna be? 
well, five times five is five squared, 10 times 10 is 10 squared, x times x, x squared. So with that, boom, there we have it. So now that I have my 12x squared, I can already tell you, I'm looking at my answer choices and well, C and D, they're already out. They're already out. This is 12x squared. I got a 6x squared on both of these. So bye, goodbye. Now, up next we have our 3x multiplied by negative 6y. So a positive times a negative, that's gonna give you a negative. We gotta know those rules. If we don't know those rules, well, I can't feel bad for you. So here, minus three times six is 18. And x times y, well, x and y are not the same exact variable, so they're not gonna square, it's just gonna be x times y, okay? If you're multiplying x times y, that's just x times y. So x, y. Now, this is not to say that this is gonna be a negative 18x and you're gonna look for it automatically. That's not what I'm saying. You're not gonna look for it automatically because you're gonna have a like term right here. You gotta make sure you pay attention to your like terms. You have five y times four x. Five times four is gonna give you a positive 20. And then y times x is the same as x times y. Three times two is the same as two times three. Again, that's the commutative property of multiplication. Y times x is the same as x times y. Typically in math, it's a lot better to write things in alphabetical order, so you're good. Next up, we're gonna have ourselves the five y multiplied by the negative six y right above, right there, my big old head. So, five, oh, positive times a negative, what's that gonna give me? That's gonna give me a negative. All right, sounds good. Minus, with my big old head in the way, five times six is gonna give me 30. And then we have the y times the y, which is gonna give me y squared. All right, great. So notice, my last term here is negative 30y squared. Which one of these has negative 30y squared? Right there. You can finish this problem before you even finish the actual math. You're good. There's the answer because you see that you have 12x squared and minus 30y squared. And I bet you right now when we simplify these right here, when you simplify that and combine those like terms, you're going to get this. I bet you. Watch this. Minus 18xy and plus 20xy. Okay. They're the same, the same variables, x and y, so you can combine these terms which means you're just doing negative 18 plus 20. Negative 18 plus 20 is the same as 20 minus 18. You can flip it, make sure to bring the signs with you. And so you're doing 20 minus 18, which is two. So that'll be two X Y. And you can bring everything else down. 12 X squared plus two X Y minus 30 Y squared. And there my friends is the answer. That is a confirmed again. And so with that said, again, we have a free class tonight. Make sure to join our free classes. There is no reason for you not to be in there because even if you can't make it, you get a free practice test with video solutions to help you grow from every single mistake. And on top of that, you can go ahead and join my program if you want to get all the recordings to all my classes. There are plenty of recordings on my YouTube channel, so feel free to check those out. But I have over 320 recordings in the full program along with thousands of practice problems. And you can text me whenever you need help. So here's the information on that right over here. Again, you get a ton of stuff here. There's a link to that also in the description of this video, but you get all the support you need to pass, I guarantee it. So go ahead and stay tuned. Please like this video, please subscribe to the channel, and please comment your favorite part. That way I can keep doing this for free as always. My party people, love y'all. Let's ace the ASVAB, and I'll see you in the next video. Let's ace the ASVAB.